morning students in the last lecture we have seen the chemical potential that is uh, mu and the standard chemical potential means what the standard chemical potential mu zero is the chemical potential of the pure gas when the pressure is 1 bar and it will be much simpler notationally if we agree to let p is the pressure denote the pressure related to standard pressure and we can write the chemical potential change as mu is equal to mu standard plus rt ln of p here p is the pressure mu is the chemical potential mu standard is the standard chemical potential r is molar gas constant and t is the thermodynamic temperature so in the last lecture we have seen equation chemical potential mu is equal to mu zero plus rt ln of p so we will start with this the new point gives to him equation again in this we will see the relationship of the chemical potential with various parameters so see the Gibbs DM equation is useful for two component system the chemical potential of non volatile solute such as a sucrose when it is dissolved in a non volatile solvent such as water needs to be determined so here we have taken a solute solute is the sucrose and we want to dissolve the sucrose in the solvent again the solute and solvent both are the non volatile and here solvent is the water so when we are adding sucrose to the solvent water we have to find out the chemical potential of that solution so we are going to find out the chemical potential for two component system the first component component is the solute that is sucrose and second component is the non volatile solvent water so such a solute has no measurable vapor pressure therefore its chemical potential mu cannot be measured directly so solute has no vapor pressure and it has no chemical potential or we cannot determine mu directly so Gibbs free energy is given by the equation and our definition of change in Gibbs free energy is dg is equal to minus s dt plus vdp here dg means change in Gibbs free energy s is the entropy t is the thermodynamic temperature v is the volume and p is the pressure so this is the definition of change in Gibbs free energy dg is equal to minus s dt plus vdp and again we have the definition and in the last lecture we have written one definition of change in chemical potential d mu is equal to dg upon d n i so here g is the gibbs free energy just i have transferred this d n i to the right side therefore dg is equal to summation of mu i d n i here summation symbol is taken because now there is a two component system one is a solute and another one is a solvent so chemical potential of solute is different number of moles of the solute are different and the chemical potential of the solvent and the number of moles of the solvent are obviously different so there are two systems that's why summation symbol is taken here dg is equal to summation of mu i into d n i i represents the ith number of components here we have taken two component system you can take three four and so on but for two component system it's easy to measure the change in gibbs free energy therefore dg is equal to summation of mu i into d n i this is our equation number one now in the thermodynamics the gibbs duhem equation which describes the relationship between changes in the chemical potential for components in a thermodynamic system so here is the definition 
which we have written here dg is equal to summation of mu i into dni so just write down this term instead of this dg and write the equation as summation of ni into d mu i is equal to minus s dt plus v dp this equation describes the relationship between the change in chemical potential for components in a thermodynamic system then the chemical potential is simply another name for the partial molar gibbs free energy or we can say that partial gibbs free energy which depends upon number of moles n in units of moles of particles and thus the gibbs free energy of a system can be calculated by collecting number of moles together carefully at a specified temperature and the ratio when the molar ratio of composition is constant so that the chemical potential doesn't change as the moles are added together so here temperature and pressure are specified but molar ratio is constant that's why chemical potential doesn't changes as we are going to add excess moles into the system that is dg is equal to summation of mu i dni this is our equation number 1 i have written again here dg is equal to summation of mu i dni here change in gibbs free energy depends upon the chemical potential of the respective species and the number of moles so number of moles are changing now the binary mixture is taken suppose and when the temperature and the pressure are the constant then we can reduce this equation as this equation can be written as now we have the two components one is a solute and another one is a solvent so for solute you can write down the chemical potential mu1 and number of moles are n1 and for solvent you can write down the mu2 is the chemical potential and n2 are the number of moles here number of moles are changing and the chemical potential is constant we have written here chemical potential does not change that means it is constant so constant term is written here mu1 and changing term is dn1 plus mu2 is a constant and dn2 are changing so take just integration because we have number of moles large amount of number of moles are there so take just integration term so here to the left side integration goes from 0 to g dg is equal to mu1 is a constant term so it is taken outside the integration into integration of dn1 and integration goes from 0 to n1 plus mu2 integration goes from 0 to n2 dn2 so when we are going to put this limits the equation reduces to g is equal to mu1 n1 plus mu2 n2 this is our equation number 4 this equation gives the gibbs free energy for two component system or the binary solution where mu1 n1 are the chemical potential and number of moles of the solutes and mu2 n2 are the num chemical potential and number of moles of the solvent now the process have been introduced to avoid use of same symbol for the integration variable because just here mu1 dn1 plus mu2 dn2 so you can take in the second time the number of moles are constant and the chemical potential should vary so the equation can be written as here the process have been introduced to avoid use of same symbols for the integration variable so to see to the up to this equation is same just add this part again dg is equal to mu1 dn1 plus mu2 dn2 so this is a equation number 2 written as it is plus now keep n1 and n2 are constant and chemical potential is changing so n1 d mu1 plus n2 d mu2 and this overall equation is known as gibbs duhem equation here in first two terms chemical potential is constant and number of moles are changing and in the last two terms number of moles are constant and chemical potential is 
variable. So, the significance of the Gibbs dream equation is that the chemical potential of one component of a mixture cannot change independently of the chemical potentials of the other components. In a binary mixture, if one partial molar quantity increases, then other must decrease. So, one quantity will increase, another one, other will decrease with the two changes related by equation n d mu 1 plus n 2 d mu 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, d mu 2 is equal to minus n 1 d mu 1 divided by n 2. So, just this equation is taken and when change in Gibbs free energy is equal to 0. So, just take this part 0 and the equation is rewritten here n1 d mu 1 plus n2 d mu 2 is equal to 0. So, just transfer this part to the right side it will become negative. So, part is here minus n1 d mu 1 as it is and here we want the value of change in chemical potential of the second component. So, just transfer this number of moles of n2 to the right side and equation is written as d mu 2 is equal to minus n1 d mu 1 divided by n2 and the same line of reasoning applies to all partial molar quantities. So, this is the gibbs dream equation which is used to determine the partial molar volume of component of a binary mixture from measurements of the partial molar volume of the second component.